Hi booktube, Lynette here again and in this video I am going to tell you all about the books I plan on reading in September. I have decided that during September I am going to have a bit of a catch up month. I've got uh, two or three books that I have already started that I want to try and finish this month so I, I'm not going to give them priority because I've got a couple of other books that I need to read in this month. Um, but certainly towards the back end of the month when I'm picking up the books that aren't on my set list, uh, then I will definitely be, gi be giving these priority. So the first book that is actually on the set list for the month is my In Death Read Along pick for the month, and it's book nine in the series Loyalty in Death. The In Death series is written by J.D. Robb, and it's a series of 50 books with book 51 due out in the next month or two. I have been reading one book a month or two books a month if there is a novella. Um, I've been reading that alongside the full novel for the month as well. Loyalty in Death, again, is uh, focusing on Eve Dallas and Rourke. And Eve is a homicide detective with the New York Police Department. And in this book, someone is targeting the her husband's properties in this, but also people die as a result of it. It's an extremist group that are carrying out these attacks on Rourke's properties and Eve has to find out who is doing that as well as solve the reason why a certain person has also died um, as part of these attacks. I thoroughly enjoy the in-death book so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm guessing that this is probably going to be the first book I pick up of the month. Uh, so I will probably have this one reviewed very very quickly at the start of September. Uh, please excuse me, the cat's decided the lap is free, so he's going to sit on it. So if there's a tail in shot for the next part, uh, just don't pay any attention to him. He's just wanting some love. So the second book that is actually on the set list for the month is The Secret of Strangers by Charity Norman. This book is set around three strangers who are in a cafe that is then um, taken siege of by a masked gunman. These strangers have never met before but the they all have a secret uh, that if it's shared it could prevent them getting out of the hostage situation alive. There is really no more in the blurb than that. Uh, this has been picked by Jess McGlynn who runs the Just One More Page book club and I'm really looking forward to reading it. I've enjoyed all the picks that she's uh, done so far, some of them more than others. Um, but she really is, uh, I've joined this book club because she reads more literary fiction rather than the fantasy and romance that I normally read and it, it's really helping me to actually push myself out of my comfort zone with my reading. So I'm really looking forward to this one and I will be picking this one up quite soon in September because it really has piqued my interest with the very small blurb and the fact that there's a bit of mystery and secrecy going on. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. So the third book that is on the set list for the month that I have to finish is Lorna Doon by R.D. Blackmore. This has been on the last two TBRs as well. Uh, I've picked a version of the book that has quite old language in it. So I've started to try and read it, but I think I really need to sit down more at weekends with it and pick it up. Um, because it is just a bit of a, a, a difficult one to get started. I think once I get started and get into the flow of the the language. Um, I'll probably have a better time with it. Anyway, it's a romance book set in Somerset, which is where I live, and it's about people from two sides of the divide. One is a farmer, the other is from um, a local aristocracy, and their families don't approve. There's a bit of a, um, a gangster feel to uh, Lorna's family and oh, for that time anyway um, and John who is uh, from the farming background obviously he's just a simple farmer who wants wants a wife to love and marry and to bring up his children but their relationship is fraught with disaster and danger um, and I, I really want to get into it it's actually for Romanceopoly it's the only romance properly book I'm setting myself from September so that I can make myself read it. So the next two books are middle grade books. They're ones that my sister and nephew have lent to me to read. 
The first of those books is Secret Breakers, The Knights of Neustria by H.L. Dennis. This book my nephew actually lent to me. He handed me a whole pile of books, um, in fact the entire series of these books, and said, here, read these, I think you'll like them. And so far, I've read the first two books. This is actually the third book in the series. And this is all about a group of three preteens, early teen age children, who are trying to crack a secret document and find the code. Each book follows a different part of the code and leads them on a different journey and has some dangers and uh, some mystery for them. This book is no exception. And as you can see, I have already started it. I'm about a quarter of the way through it. And I put it down and I, d I think just to pick something else up that I really needed to read and then I never went back to it. So this is actually going to be high on the list so I can get this finished and back to my nephew and also so that I can move on with the rest of the series hopefully in October. So the second middle grade book in my September TBR that I need to get a move on with is Magic Septimus Heap book one. This is a book that my sister actually lent me last year. She wanted me to read it and see if it would be suitable for my nephew. She wasn't too sure herself and she's not read it herself, but she wants to know, you know, would he actually get on with it? I felt when I first picked it up, part of the beginning may be a bit problematic for my nephew, um, but I really want to get on and read the rest of it. Like I say, I'm not very far into it at all. That's, that's as far as I've got with it. Um, but I really want to know you know, I, I want to know what's going on in the story. I quite like the premise of it. Uh, it's all about magic and mystery and hidden royalty and hidden magic. Um, so it is one of the books that I really, really enjoy reading. And I just want to get on and try it and finish it so I can hand it back to my sister and say yes or no to my nephew potentially reading it. Um, I think it might be one that he reads, but maybe not for another year or two. Uh, so I'll see when I get to the end of it. And then the final book that I want to get through this month is one that's been on my TBR since May. And that is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. This is book four of his Wheel of Time series. As you can see, I'm halfway through it. But it's just been sat there looking at me for the last three months and I've not read any more of it. I read that first half, I think, in May. And I really, really want to get on and, and finish it because I'm enjoying the series they're not standout reads for me like they were when I read them uh, 20 years ago, but I really, really do want to get on and finish reading these. Uh, I've got the whole series to read at some point, so I want to get on with it. This book, really can't say very much about it, um, other than it's still following Rand and Nineveh and Elaine and Egwene and Matt and Perrin and Tom, and we're on their adventures with them. Uh, their home is under threat, so they've gone back to try and protect that. Uh, Rand has lots that he has to do with the position that he's now in. And Elaine, Egwene and Nenev are continuing their training um, as part of the White Tower, but they are outside of the White Tower. Uh, so because they're found to be much stronger than anybody ever thought they would be. So like I say, I'm halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be quite a high priority to get finished this month alongside the other two that I want to finish. So I shall be picking this up as soon as I can in September. And if I get through all of those six books, then I have another book that I want to pick up and start. And this is to continue a series that I've started in August. And the book that I want to pick up is Dragonhaven by Robin Hobb. This is book two of her Rainwild Chronicles series. The Rainwild Chronicle series is the fourth series in her overarching Realm of the Elderlings. And this book is following on from book one, which is where the baby dragons from book, from the um, Live Ship Trader series have hatched. They've gone off to search for a city called Kelsingra. Uh, in this book, they're continuing their journey uh, to find the city and obviously deal with their limitations because they're quite sickly dragons. And it's all about how they and the Dragon Keepers uh, come together and start building a new society together. I have read this book before, um, about 11 or 12 years ago when it first came out. I really enjoyed it then. 
I find I find Robin Hobb's books quite slow going at times, uh, but I really do enjoy her writing style, and I'm looking forward to picking this one up and continuing the series because I really want to finish it. Um, because I didn't finish the series, this particular series, the first time round. So I really want to get on and finish it. And I'm hoping that by setting it for myself every couple of months, I'll be able to do that. So that's the books that I plan on reading in September. What reading plans have you got for the month? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you about it there. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.